Welcome to Business Insider, a production of SK Newsline in association with the St. Kitts and Nevis Chamber of Industry and Commerce. In our first episode, we profile Jaro Electronics, one of the premier manufacturing plants in St. Kitts and Nevis. This episode was filmed before the passing of Jaro's manager, Doris Archibald, who took time out that day to talk to us about the factory's operations. This episode serves as a tribute to her. We are grateful for the opportunity to meet with you at JARO and to learn a little bit about the history of JARO and the impact it has made to date in St. Kitts and Nevis. Um, thank you for coming to visit us here and um, I will give my brief overview on JARO as we are as of today. JARO is a company that has been in St. Kitts for the past 30 years. So we have been here for quite a while. I personally have joined JARO over 17 years ago. Okay, so I've not necessarily been there from the inception, but have been in the industry for well over 30 years. So I am aware of JARO, you know, prior to me getting to JARO. But at JARO, we are a company that deals with the manufacture of transformers and we assemble soft starters and motor controller. From the manufacturing of transformer, we do that from the very scratch where we make our own cores into the plastic pieces right into the final product. From the motor starter, we assemble PC board and then we assemble together and make um, what we will call a motor controller or a soft starter. At JARO, we, pres we presently have a total of 264 employees as of today. Um, this is coming, this is post-COVID. Prior to COVID, we were in the process of an expansion mode. Um, and when COVID hit us, we had approximately 230 persons, and like I said, was in the process of expanding. Due to the COVID pandemic, that you know, put a halt on the whole world. It affected us greatly, and uh, we were down for a period of time. Coming back directly from COVID, we started back with a mere 17 persons out of my 230, and that was due to having to meet all the rules and regulation that was governing COVID. Thank God for over the years and our working together with the health department and the task force in helping us to meet the necessary requirements. We are now today at 264 persons. Now what we had to do to more or less compromise meeting the COVID regulation, we had to go into two shifts. We have a shift that is, starts at seven to four and a second shift that starts from 5.30 to 1 a.m. in the morning. We had to do that in order to meet the regulations that was enforced for COVID because we couldn't have the same amount of people in the same space. So that is what, where we are today in terms of our staff. 